I'm down in Dartmouth today on an absolutely stunning day with another Meet the Owner. This is Grant and right. he owns this absolutely beautiful supermarine swordfish. Look at that. That is probably, I think, one of the most beautiful boats on the water and I suspect you'll probably agree with me on that. <laughs> well, funny enough, even this morning, uh, um, while I've been waiting for you, I've had three comments on how pretty she is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, compliments, thank you. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. And these were designed, I think I'm right in saying, by um, Alan Bernard, who designed the original fairies back in the 60s and That's so, didn't right. he? That's right, yes. He, he designed the hull. Um, as you can see, it's quite got a very flared um, uh, bow there. And um, she's got pretty sharp um, uh, spray bars. And she really takes the weather. This is a nice soft ride. I can imagine, yeah. and that's always been the way with his designs, isn't yeah. it? They've always been noted for their sea keeping. Absolutely, yes. I mean, she's a great job. Um, I first saw the design um, before, well, actually, it's been built uh, at North Shore. Right. Um, I, I had a, a boat, a sailboat at the time, and I popped in and I saw the model of the, of the boat uh, uh, where they were intending to build, and I just fell in love with it. I thought, one day I shall own one. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, here she is. If we can maybe go and have a little look on board and yeah, you can sure. show us around. Okay. I know you've done quite a bit of work to this absolutely. one. Absolutely. So yeah. that'll be interesting to have a look at, and it'd yeah. be great to see the layout as well. Yes, absolutely, yes. I think this is one of those boats that it's a bit like an E-type Jaguar. Every time you move your angle slightly, yeah. it just looks fabulous again. So the way they've curved all this round on the bow, the wide side decks. It looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, of course the um, radar, I think, uh, adds to the uh, to the beauty of the boat as well. Yes. Yeah. By the way, the uh, radar arch is a uh, carbon fiber. Oh really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit of a no expense spare job, isn't it? Well, I believe so, yes. I've done a lot to her. Um, when I bought her, she didn't have the blue stripe. Uh, I added to it, so the, the original ones uh, did a habit. I think it just sort of makes, adds to it. Yeah. Um, and um, I've put a new radar and all the bits you can see on the top there. It's all all uh, part of uh, the, the uh, job I've done on the boat. Absolutely. Um, let's, let's walk right to the back before we go on board. Yeah. Because as I say, it's just every angle and I yeah. love the, the wood yeah. Strike around it. Oh, it's gorgeous! Yeah. yeah, you have to keep that up once a year. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, <laughs> but it makes it, it's worth it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a labour of love, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, and she's um, she uh, didn't come to me by uh, with the name Flamboyant. The original owner uh, had the name put on the boat, and um, I think it suited the boat, so I changed it. Um, back to the original name. After oh, okay. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Yes. And how long have you had her? I've had her now for five, nearly six years. Wow. Okay. Yes. yes. Brilliant. And um, as I said, I've done a lot of work to, on her and uh, I do regret uh, having to say goodbye to her. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a wrench. Yeah. Let's go and have a look on board and perhaps yeah. you can show us around. Yeah. Okay. Uh. See, even lines like this, I love the way they've done this here with this air scoop and yeah. the way it comes around and then these holes into here. And just the detailing on it is, is just beautiful. Um, just a, an example, uh, my most recent job was to change the seating. She used to have a bolster. Um, you probably remember her. I do, uh, yeah, I yeah. saw the boat a few yeah. years ago, that's yeah. right. Um, which was fine uh, for a very tall chap like me, but my wife's a lot smaller and she told me to put some seats in. So right. <laughs> this is what I did. I put some new seats on which I fold down like that and they're much more comfortable. Yes. Yeah, particularly that... for uh, anybody with shorter legs. <laughs> yeah, no, I can imagine. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and it looks like there's a few upgrades on the dash here as absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. Um, all this was completely re uh, redesigned. Um, this instrument panel used to be on here, more spread out obviously. And the radar uh, used to be here. Um, so what I did was um, buy this uh, new hybrid touch screen, Ray Marine, and um, filled out this whole screen. So I had to have a new panel built for it. This is all new, uh, all the new instrumentation. Um, and we've carried it forward down there as well, we split the, split ah. the instrument bank. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's your yeah. fuel gauges and your yeah. bolts and so on. That's right, yeah. And your switch panels yeah. here as well. And it looks like thrusters. Uh, and yes, we've put some bow thrusters on. Yep. Um, and uh, stern thrusters too. Right. They're brilliant for holding the boat on the, on the, uh, onto the um, pontoon. Yep. Um, even on a windy day, they, they really work 
work nicely. And it can actually hold it actually holds the boat onto the onto the onto the um, dock. So yes, yeah, yeah like, like like a sort of just keeps the, yeah, the exactly. props running. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, can we have a little look inside? Yes, please do. Um, well, I'll follow you in actually, okay. and then we can have a little look around. Yeah, I haven't changed much down here. Right. She is as she was. Yeah. Um, she has a, a forward head um, and um, uh, one of these power grill um, um, cookers. Okay, yeah. And um, plenty of storage, uh, fridge, nice big fridge. Uh, keep all the goodies in there. Uh huh. And the heads, if you'd like to. Yeah, let's have a little, yeah, have a little peep. Uh, okay, and that looks like a shower yeah. that pulls out. That's right. Yeah. Gotcha. There was yeah. uh, another one of these in the in the aft cabin as well. So, if you're cruising with uh, company, they've got their own facilities on suite. Nice. So nice, nice, comfortable bed, and there's plenty of storage underneath the bunk here. And um, yeah, it's just. Um, is all this commercial rooms. Yeah. Mm. I think it's a nice layout actually, because as you say, it's the aft cabin. So you've yeah. got this, and then, I don't know if you're for yourself, a totally separate area at the back Absolutely. of the bay, haven't you? Absolutely. Perfect. And it's got a nice big stainless steel sink there. Yep. Nice and shiny. Yes. <laughs> and storage in here and here too. Yeah. Brilliant. Good. Okay, let's go have a look at the back. Absolutely. Or a stern, I should say. Get told off according at the back. Yeah, exactly. Right. Slide in the uh, door. Oh, it's best to go down this way. And as you see, is a put the uh, canvas in here at the moment. Yep. It's got a little desk here or a vanity unit, a comfortable seat for, for writing or doing your plotting if you've got your charts down here. And as I say, a nice um, heads, mm -hmm. um, the same as the forward cabin. Um, it's a hanging locker down here. It's brilliant, isn't it? It gives you so much privacy, considering the size of the boat, because well, she's, what, 36 foot, I That's think, right. isn't she? That's right. A lot of, uh, lot of space for a 36 foot, uh, footer. Yeah. Absolutely. The fuel tanks are under here, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're fed from uh, wing tanks, which are underneath the bunk here. So in, in all, we've got four fuel tanks, so plenty of range. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we, uh, they fill from the wing tanks down into the uh, into the into the uh, main tanks in the, the aft end here. Um, if you want to pop down, I could just show you a bit of the engine from here. Sure, yeah, just absolutely. Show you, um, how it is, e how easy it is to service the boat. Take out this, and you can see how clean she is over there. Oh right, let's have a look. Wow, yeah, that looks like new actually, doesn't it? Well, more, more, most of it is really. Right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of work on here. She's uh -huh. been replumbed, rewired. Um, she's got new engine mounts. Um, she, the engines are actually taken out um, and sent to Barris, and um, they did a, um, a makeover on it, checked it all out, and replaced parts that looked like they might need replacing. I did, I do believe in having things absolutely perfect. Um, yeah. So engine cables, uh, all this, everything is. Uh, Brand new, basically. Fantastic, yeah. and you can access that, I guess, from the cockpit absolutely, as well. So, yeah, yeah brilliant. This is just a, if you go, it's got a little pump out for for your oil as well when you service uh, say, all the oil going into the sun. It's just an um, electric pump that just pumps out the oil from the engines. Oh, that's a good idea. Part of the service in regime. Brilliant. I'll pop that back. All soundproofed. Yep. Okay. I'll lift, I'll lift up the hatch for, for the engines. Okay. Actually, if I come up that end, it looks like it hinges yeah, this way, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'll just lift up the hatch. Ah, power lift, very nice. Power lift, yeah. There we are. Ah, look at that. 
all the fire extinguishers are new, well they were new um, from three years ago when I did the refit. Mm -hmm. um, all the plumbing, as you can see, is new. Um, it's got a nice little um, idea here, if you look at the seacocks um, on those rods there, so if you can open them without having to go to the bottom of the boat. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so you can just turn that, you can open it and shut it. Okay, so that's these fellas yeah, just that's here. that's right, yeah. yeah. on both sides. Right. And the main one's at the bottom there for the inlet and outlet for the engine cocks, hecocks. But you can see how much work's been done on the boat. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. what uh, horsepower are these engines? Uh, 440s. Okay. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And they're conventional shaft drive. That's right. Yes. Okay. So absolutely. you've just got the, the gearboxes on the back and then yep. the shafts that go out. So yep. nice and simple and, and, and traditional. Gearboxes are all checked over and renewed any, any parts. Brilliant. So she's, um, she's much, it's almost um, ne nearly new. <laughs> yeah. But, In, but not new. <laughs> I understand. You yeah. must have spent a fortune on it. I did. I won't say that. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Because my, my wife's going to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Um, I put all the bills in the box and um, one day I'm going to add them up or, or I might not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's the best way with boats, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just uh, drop the hatch. There. Beautiful. Okay. That's a decent sized cockpit actually, isn't it? It is actually, yes. Yeah. Um, I had to, um, when I made these seats, I had to push these things a bit further back, but um, I think it still works nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And I put a whole new canvas on her. Um, she's got a, a full um, camper and a, and a camper that um, I use more generally, which it's on the side of this bimney here. Right. So it's a half, what I call a half camper, but it's uh, so I've got a full camper. It's got all the cameras all like this, and the windscreen that fits down here, it fits onto underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That windscreen is a work of art, actually, isn't it? That's it is. Absolutely. Stainless steel yeah. sweep. Yeah. Absolutely, it's beautiful. And I've yeah. put all new windscreen on. Uh huh. That's all new as well. Wow. Yeah. No expense spared, as you say. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> no expense to that. Brilliant. Yeah. And I think you mentioned when we were chatting earlier that since it was such a nice day, yes. we might have a little... You want to go out? for a drive, do you? Shall we? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, awesome. Good. It sounds like a proper boat, so that is fantastic. I've just put the um, the bow and stern thrusters on to hold it onto the um, onto the dock. Okay. Yeah. So, so they're just sat running now, are they? Yep. Let's, have, running, let's have a look. Ah, there we go. You can just see the wash from the one there, and that's just pinning the boat gently against the uh, the pontoon while the lines come off. It's very clever stuff. Now, I should just introduce David. David is a, a friend of Grant's who helps out just with the crewing, I think. I do indeed. And also own a very nice boat of your own, I understand. Very spearfish, which is gorgeous. Perfect. And we're going to need to do a video on that sometime. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. She sounds good, doesn't she? Beautiful. I was just saying, she sounds like a proper boat. Absolutely. She, she sounds like she looks. <laughs> yes. Throat. Yes. Purposeful.
Ajá. So do you live locally or do you come down to the boat? No, I live um, big beyond sea, which is well, about uh, 25 minutes away. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's uh, quite handy beside the river. Yeah. I, 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 I kept her over there for a short while and it was a bit of a hassle getting across, you know, particularly this time of year. Of course. Before the visitors coming down. And yeah. It's just, uh, you have to wait so long to get the ferry across, so it's so much easier to get it over here. And they're such nice people. Have you noticed this uh, craft on the right? I have, so yeah, that's beautiful. It's stunning. It is. It's a real, real beauty there. I haven't noticed it too. Yeah. Pretty worth it. You might see it, I think. Yes. Yeah. It's really powerful. Overdrive. Oh right, yeah. yes, I remember something about yeah. that. It's like a twin speed gearbox. Yeah, I'll, um, in, I'll show you how it works later when Br we get out when we get out of the harbour. Brilliant. At the moment we're in just normal drive, but uh, press that button at about uh, just under 2,000 revs and I can feel the kick of the boat. Nice. It goes into overdrive. It's funny. Kick, can't you? Wow, 
falar isso. Baixa o sol. Yeah. Fantastic. Just awesome. the um, trim tabs at all. No, you don't need to, do you? It's completely balanced. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Drive. Yep. Back in normal drive now. Amazing. Little windows rather than the hole in there. Yeah, yeah, it's the early two thousands I would guess. Discussing this Fairline Targa, which I think is a 43 GT. Somebody will tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's stunning, isn't it? just asked me if I'd like to have a go and the answer to that is well it would be rude not to really wouldn't it okay carry on awesome what do you think gear now she's in gear yeah perfect <laughs> yes okay build the revs up 1800 
I think, Nick. That is absolutely fantastic. It's so well balanced, isn't it? It is. It just sits absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Well, that has been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Grant. It's been brilliant. Pleasure. And we've had the weather for it as well, haven't we? Absolutely. <laughs> what, what else can we do on a day like today than go boating? Exactly. Let me know what you think about Grant's boat in the comments, and we'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.